Every day we're making all kinds of conscious decisions to stay comfortable in the temperature outside. But our body is also at the same time doing a lot of things just automatically to try to maintain a constant internal temperature of 98.6 degrees. But when you start to raise the temperature of the outside world, this gets more challenging. Very young children with newborns, they have very fast heart rates to begin with. So they can't uh, do much to compensate when temperature rises. Summers used to be a time of being really carefree outdoors all the time, and it's already a more hazardous time where heat and smoke are affecting more children, and we have to be careful to protect them when conditions outside are dangerous for them. So the long-term impacts of that, I think, are gonna be, you know, really devastating. And that's why we all need to do everything we can to try to minimize these impacts as much as possible. I think of parents as the sleeping giant in the climate fight, because parents are so protective of their kids in so many other ways. And if we can tap into that and help people understand uh, what's going on and what we can do right now, I mean, I think that's really, really important. Schools are a great place for families to get involved because there's a lot of resources now to decarbonize schools by replacing their HVAC systems with solar panels and heat pumps, also to replace school buses with electric school buses. There is no good future for our kids if we don't stop fossil fuel use and end carbon pollution. We have to do that to protect kids in the future.